Greetings. This is Grandfather. Now, I know many of you are worried about being exposed to harmful radiation. So I want to give you something. It won't take long. That will help you if you are exposed to it. Alright? Now, You've all done living prayers before if you've been coming to this site for a while and you know about it. So, I'm not going to go over that, but there will be links on one of the blogs at least. Written blogs, you understand. Now, it's important to know this. These events that are happening are transitory. It does not suggest that atomic power plants all over the world are going to be having these problems. But it does suggest that atomic power has some issues that it has yet to resolve. Someday, there will be a different form of atomic power that has no waste whatsoever, and small power plants will be possible. But that day is not here yet. So, dealing with what is at hand, the radiation, and some of you are concerned about gamma radiation from the sun as well. This will work for either one. It may not be a cure-all for everybody, but you would be surprised how much it will help. First ask for all the most benevolent energies that are available for you to be all around you and all about you. Then pause for a moment. Some of you will feel the energy come up. Others will not feel that much. Some of you will feel a tingling. Wait a few moments. No more than 30 seconds. Unless the energy comes up very strong. And then wait until it fades a bit because the energy will have already begun doing the work. The energy, after all, is from benevolent spirits, angels, your guides, and others. And they will know what you want. But in order to involve your mind and to set your mental intent, you do say the words. If at any time, when you're saying the words, the energy comes up strong, always remember to pause and allow the energy to pass a bit, meaning to fade a bit, all right? That means the energy will be working for you, all right? Now, this is what you say. I am asking that any energy that I am exposed to that is harmful, be it atomic radiation or gamma radiation, or any other energy that is harmful to me personally, that it be mutated and transformed now into something that is safe and benign for me to be exposed to, or that I be transformed and allowed to be more strong with greater endurance so that I am not affected by it. Now, you might feel energy come up during that time, but this is a form of living prayer that has certain aspects to it that will help beyond the norm of living prayer. Now, I know many of you want to do this for others, so here's the adaptation to do for others. Again, you say the preamble about uh, requesting all the most benevolent energy to be around you, but use the words exactly as I have stated them here. I know for some of you this will be difficult because English is not your first language, but these are the words that will work. It may be possible someday to uh, get words for other languages. We'll see. But a simple translation on the computer or otherwise, it probably will not work. 
important for you to know that. Now here's what you can say for others. After saying your initial statement as I indicated, just like before, then say, I am asking that all those people and beings that are exposed to atomic radiation or excessive radiation from the sun that may be harmful, now be insulated and protected from this radiation. I am also asking that these peoples that are exposed to this also experience a transformation in their own person that allows them to be strong and enduring and radiation like this from the sun or from atomic power will not harm them. And we're going to say a second thing. When you say the second thing, you pause, you understand, for about 30 seconds after you said this. If the energy comes up strong at any time, you uh, wait until it fades a bit, as always. But if you haven't felt that much or the energy has faded, then you say, I am also asking that any radiations that are harmful, that the people are exposed to, mutate and transform now into some benign and benevolent form that is safe for all to be exposed to. Now, understand this. This site is not about things that are, quote, practical entirely. Although, I do what I can to make it as down to earth as possible. But sometimes we must use magic when things are not apparently possible. This is one of those times. And what I have shared with you, even though it is called living prayer, is magic. And this type of magic works with all beings, harms no one, and works because all beings, you understand, all souls, all spirits for that matter, completely cooperate. No one is harmed, no one is blamed, no one is judged. And all souls agree because it is so benign and benevolent that they allow it to take place. Never forget that. Good life.